Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do Freed Camp review and demo. It is a customizable project management platform. You will be able to organize work for your team and manage tasks and much more than that. There are other tools which I will show you like Visual Planner. Throughout this demo, I will show you all key features of this tool. And also I will tell you about one important feature that Freed Camp is missing. At the moment, Freed Camp is available as a lifetime deal on AppSumo. And as well, which is important, you have 60 day money back guarantee. So we have two months to try this tool. Regarding pricing plans, you have an option to purchase codes. For example, one code gives you three users and starting from three codes, you can have nine users and two factor authentication and white labeling, meaning that you will be able to access this tool through your own custom domain. Which is interesting about this deal is that you can stack unlimited codes. And for example, if you will stack 10 codes, you will be able to manage a team of 30 users. All right, so let's move on to actual review and demo. This is the main dashboard and I have one project created. To the left, we can see all main sections of this tool. And let's start with milestones, because in this tool, it is how you start organizing the big chunks of work. Imagine you are working on a project from the very beginning and you would like to create a new AI writing tool or anything else. So here I have defined several milestones. First of all, we need to define why we need this product, then we'll build a project plan and then we'll start building a development team. See that you have your dates here. You can move your milestones around. Let's expand one. And here we have our tasks defined. Again, you can move tasks through a timeline. Also, if you will go to settings, you will be able to switch between different views. For example, let's choose table. And now we can see our milestones in a table format with different columns like priority, start and date and some comments. And let's say for this phase or milestone, we can add a task. You can choose a due date, put it in progress and put high priority. We can create subtasks and there are other options that you can see. So let's create. And here it is, our task inside a milestone. If we will go back to settings, let's change it one more time. Same milestones, but in form of Kanban. Kanban means that you have a different representation of your milestones. Here you can see no progress, in progress and completed columns. This is our milestone and we can move around tasks inside that milestone. Let's say we would like to move define product strategy into in progress state or define product mission move into completed state and we can do the same for other milestones and as well we can have our milestones as simple list here it is all right so that how you start organizing your work and now let's deep dive into other features for example tasks basically here we can have all the same options, list, Kanban, table, Gantt, but this is just specifically for all of your tasks from all of your milestones. Like we can see it in Kanban representation and we can just move around our tasks. We can go and edit a specific task, modify description, add some comments, tag users. Another interesting and important feature is adding time. Here we can add time that was spent already on the task. Like let's say five hours, 30 minutes and status completed, save in. And as well, if the status is not started, then we can run the time from here and it will track the actual time spent on the task. When you have a pause in your work or when your task is finished, you can just press pause. All right, moving to the next feature called discussions. With that feature, you can start a discussion. For example, it could be like, we need to find a proper AI writing software so we can collect a feedback 
from your team, you can start an open forum to collect some ideas. Moving next, time section. Here you will see all time logged. So you can add time from a task view or from here. You can select task, then just a particular task and then enter the time needed and create. Like so. Moving next. FreedCamp also provides you ability to create issues or defects or bugs. Imagine you are testing a product and the main landing page is not loading. So you can create a bug, assign it to a particular user, assign priority, so the issue will be fixed. And now I will tell you about one feature that I think FreedCamp is missing. When you add an issue, You can add title, add a description, you can set type of issue, cosmetic, bug, exception, feature. You can add a date, however, you cannot link a bug to a particular task or a milestone. And in my opinion, it is a very important feature which this tool is missing. But I hope the developers of this tool will add this missing functionality to link a bug to a particular task or a milestone. All right, moving next. There is another piece of functionality called Wiki and here you can create pages with some documentation. So for example, we can add a Wiki, you can add a title and add whatever you need to share and spread knowledge across your team. Okay, what else this tool provides? Moving to calendar. Here you will see all your tasks, milestones, you can create events in your calendar, you can switch day, week or move into agenda day by day. We can see different types of events, like here it is a bug or defect. Also you will be able to copy a link to this calendar and add it to a Google calendar. So all events created in FreedCamp will appear in your Google calendar or for your choice. Okay, moving to yet another feature called Overview. Here you will be given a summary about all of your tasks, milestones, where some items require immediate attention, like some tasks can be overdue. Also, you will be able to collect some statistics about how many tasks are in progress and how many are completed. All right, moving next to a planner. And this is another great feature because you can see yet in another way everything that you have in your project, like tasks and how those map to days. You can see your milestones and dates for those milestones. You can also see your issues or defects with due dates. So a very nice feature to have. And what's important? you can group and reorder your items on this view, for example, by status. So now you can see what is not yet in progress, for example. You can also group by assigned to and can see who is assigned which tasks. Okay, moving to a final feature in this demo called files, which is pretty straightforward. You can upload files, for example, I have uploaded a few thumbnails for my recent videos, like FRI review. And before we move to the conclusion, let me show you yet another quick feature, widgets board. So here you can add some widgets. For example, I have added issue tracker, and this is how it looks like. So it's just a shortcut and quick view for the some functionality of the tool. For example, maybe in one place you will need to see open defects and a calendar to see some high-level overview how different tasks or events are spread through a month. All right, moving to the conclusion. FreedCamp is a pretty solid project management platform. You will be able to manage work for your team organize those in milestones, define tasks, see those in a calendar view in different formats as a Kanban board, simple list, table or Gantt chart. 
The tool has pretty sizable amount of good reviews on AppSumo already. And I think the deal structure is pretty good because you just need to select what kind of team size are you looking for and just pick the right number of codes. Let's say you have 15 users, so just pick five codes, pay this amount and that's it, one time payment. And as I mentioned before, you have two months to try this product risk free. To get free camp, please check the link in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.